in This Week in Military History, we look at how a tree almost led to a war between the United States and North Korea in 1976. In 1976, a single 80-foot poplar tree in the demilitarized zone between North Korea and South Korea was obstructing the United Nations view of the mouth of the Bridge of No Return, which marked the military demarcation line between North and South Korea. On August 18, 1976, a group of Korean Service Corps members and United National Command Security Team members went into the Joint Security Area to trim the tree. After 15 minutes of observing the cutting process, the North Korean commander, Senior Lieutenant Pak Shul, ordered the UNC to stop cutting down the tree. When US Army Captain Arthur G. Boniface refused twice to do so and ordered the UNC to continue, Lieutenant Pak ordered the North Koreans to attack. Soon, eight UNC soldiers were badly injured, with Lieutenant Mark Barrett and Captain Boniface dead. The North Koreans maintained that American aggression was behind the action, and the North Koreans acted in self-defense. Numerous eyewitness accounts, however, and photographic evidence showed that no UNC officer ever fired their weapon. The CIA themselves considered the axe murder incident pre-planned and American forces were increased to DEFCON 3 on August 19th as a result. While the entire area was on high alert, the US decided an overwhelming show of force, one that would chasten North Korea but not further escalate tension, would be the best response. Operation Paul Bunyan was the result. On August 21st, a convoy of 23 American and South Korean vehicles arrived at the tree with chainsaws. Also involved were a team of 110 troops with M16 rifles and M79 grenade launchers, 27 helicopters, three B-52 bombers, the aircraft carrier, USS Midway, moved just offshore, and nuclear-capable strategic bombers circling overhead. After 42 minutes, the poplar tree came down. A memorial plaque was placed at the area in 1987, and an axe and an axe handle supposedly used in the incident are on display in the North Korea Peace Museum. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.